Hello, this is Anders from Robotic Bean, and today I'm going to talk about per node settings in sequences. So I'm going to start by creating a synth, then creating sequences. And in previous versions of sequences, if I had some nodes here in the same step, these are all in step one, uh, I could only change all nodes at the same time. So if you see here, I changed the length, all nodes are effective. And while developing uh, 1.3, we thought that this was a bit uh, constricted. So we implemented that you can select one node and then just change the length or the any setting for that node. And uh, this applies to uh, all settings. So if I copy these nodes here, I can, for example, uh, tie this node to the next node and I can mute this note. And as before, if no notes are selected, uh, the change will apply to all notes in the step. So if I unmute that one, just the muted note will be unmuted, and then I can mute all notes. And this applies to ratchets as well. So if I select this note and want a repeat of five, and this one can have a repeat of three, you will see that they get individual repeats. And by this little star here, you can see that there are multiple values. And what is shown here is the maximum value. For now it's five. So if I increase this to eight, it will read eight. And how does this sound? I must know. Ah, fantastic. And for octave, there is a slight difference because here, if I raise this one, one octave, you see that uh, this one is active. There are some notes that are not octave shifted and there is at least one note that is octave shifted one up. And if I do like that, you will see that all used uh, octave shifts are indicated. For CV, it's uh, just as before because this is not a per note setting. So this is uh, just for each step. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.